Good afternoon, everybody. Some of you know that I just had surgery done on my knee. I got it repaired, I uh, got it fixed. I'm in a lot of pain today. So if the video doesn't come out exactly a-okay, um, please forgive me. <laughs> I'm just trying to do the best I can. I don't edit my videos. I feel like if God wants me to say whatever he wants me to say, I say it. I'm not going to go and try to get my videos edited or try to strive perf for perfection in any kind of way. Um, I think that kind of takes away from what it is that needs to happen. Anyway, with that being said, uh, today I was reading Colossians chapter 2, 6 through 14, and being baptized and being buried uh, in the water and coming up clean, the sins being buried in the water and coming up clean, um, as is in Christ, as the scripture talks about here. It also says to be very careful of man because man will interject their own opinions and their own thinking about what the scripture is instead of actually going with off with what the scripture says. Um, you know, a lot of times when we sit there and, and we'll listen to people and we follow people and we'll do, you know, the social media followings or we follow our friends or we'll follow our family members and we do the things that they want us to do, um, but they're not godly things. Okay, and so it's very careful we have to be in today's society, in today's age, because we follow blindly. Um, I have told people, listen, you know, go read your Bible, read your Bible, understand your Bible. Don't listen to me, read your Bible. Um, I'm trying to encourage people and trying to point things out for people, for people to read, because I believe that these things are very important, um, especially baptism. You know, I know there's a huge... Uh, ordeal online about baptism that you don't have to be baptized just believe in Jesus Christ believe upon his name and you're saved um, you know and there are scriptures that reference to that yes it is true but to complete it you have to bury the sin you have to wash the sin away and it talks about this throughout the Bible it talks about our conduct as well so when you measure people by conduct whether they're Christian or not Christian you you can do so but do it righteously do it with right standing. Do it off of the Bible and biblical principles. There are some people who feel that they are without flaw. Well, we can also know that this is untrue too if we study our Bible. So when we get baptized and we're born again and we carry the conduct or the fruit of the Spirit, you will know that. I always encourage people that say they're Christians and they say, oh, I'm a Christian and I drink every so often. Or, hey, I'm a Christian and you know I slip up and... I've said things or I've done things and I'm like, you know what? That's okay. We're not perfect. You know, we are imperfect in everything we do, but we strive for perfection. We will strive to do better. And as long as you repent every day for your actions and the things that you do and you're avidly working on them to be a better Christian, then you'll be okay. God will change you. God will put his hand upon you and change everything about you. From your inner being to your outer being. God is very loving. He is very caring. And he will be there for us because we are his children. So let him control your life. Let him control your actions. The spirit of God, let that control you. And you will be okay. God bless. Stay in love. We'll talk again soon. All right, amen.